quiz. Did you know it is Teacher Appreciation Week? And even though teachers and educators deserve our love all year round, this is the perfect time to say thank you. And that is why we wanted to take a walk down memory lane to celebrate two people who had a big impact on our lives. Mr. Reynolds was my social studies teacher, and what I remember is just what a great teacher he was. He connected with the class, he had energy, I, he made social studies come alive. Mrs. Bilheimer was one of the leads of my high school's community development and global citizenship program. She had such a large impact on my life and time at Arundel Senior High School. I think the greatest lesson that Mr. Reynolds taught me in that year of social studies is to pay attention to history right to value it and to study it and to go deep into our past to understand our present something i really appreciated about mrs bilheimer is that she saw things that i didn't even see in myself even though she was staff and a teacher at the school she treated us in many ways like peers in in a way that really empowered us and encouraged us to lean into our leadership and our abilities i actually think you could draw a line between my interest in history and social studies and what i do now for a living and part of that interest really came from Mr. Reynolds' classroom. My time spent with her was so formative because it really cultivated the curiosity that has made me the journalist I am today. Students spend so much time at school and the relationships we form with our teachers, with the staff at the school, really shape not just our time in high school, middle school, or elementary school, but our lives. They do heroic work every single day. And I just want to say I appreciate all the teachers I've had. Oh, yes, we do appreciate them. And in fact, Mrs. Sherry Bilheimer and Mr. Rick Reynolds are joining us right now. Thank you both so Thank much you. for being Thank here. You. Mrs. Bilheimer, I want to Thank start you. with you. So good to see you, first of all. What made you want to work in education? <laughs> well, interesting enough, I didn't originally want to. I think as a high school student, the old the last thing I thought about was going back into a high school. But I think ironically, that's probably what makes me good at what I do mm. is I really love to see the potential in people. Yeah. And I love seeing students become a part of a community and realizing the potential in themselves. Yeah. Mr. Reynolds, I know you're retired now, but you taught for 38 yep. years at Burnt Hills Boston Lake Public School in upstate New York. What do you miss the most and, and what made you become a teacher? What I miss the most is kids Aww. because kids are what it's really all about. Yeah. And they have such incredible enthusiasm for things if you can turn them on and you just got to connect with them, make them realize mm -hmm. that history is valuable, just like you said a few minutes ago, yeah. and and do it with them. Do You do history. Yeah. History to me is not about the past. History is about the past, the present, mm -hmm. and the future. I love it's that. It's all interconnected, and that's what matters. Mr. Reynolds, I kind of want to ask you about the past, flip the script a bit, put my dear Kate on the spot. What was it like teaching her? Any favorite memories? I'll tell you. Most 13-year-old girls are a challenge to teach. Um, she was incredibly inquisitive, Aww. and she was very verbal, and she wanted to talk about all kinds of things, especially the women's rights movement. That was really big for her. Yeah. But sometimes she would say things that were a little off base, and I would kind of have to bring her around <laughs> to another point of view, which was really what I was doing in a classroom most of the time is yeah. the fact that there are multiple points of view to every issue. Yeah. Well, these days I can tell you she keeps the facts straight and keeps people <laughs> accountable. So your teaching clearly paid off. Yeah, it, it totally worked. Mrs. Bilheimer, I want to ask you about Zinkley. What was it like having her as a student? Any favorite stories for you? Zinclay is remarkable, I, always. She's simply amazing. But Zinclay became alive when she was on stage, whether if it was a camera, um, her music, doing a video, making a theater production. She so came alive. But I think we had the shared um, values of creating change and being 
bringing community together. And it, we just really had a special bond. Mm -hmm. And I'm so grateful for that bond. I mean, it's not lost on me. Mrs. Bilheimer, you've been working in schools for 24 years. Mr. Reynolds, you've retired, but clearly your impact spans generations. Any tips, both of you, for anybody considering going into the field of education? Bilheimer, we can start with you briefly. I lead with love, you know, lead, lead, lead with your heart, shine a light on the student's strengths and simply be yourself. I love that. I Mr. think that's my biggest takeaway. And Mr. Reynolds, what's, what's your top tip? I, I, I think the best thing about teaching is that you can do whatever you want within confines, of course. When technology came along, I incorporated technology into my classroom. Mm -hmm. When the idea of reenacting and creating yeah. characters came along, I you incorporated did. that in. So, so there's keep constant up with the change. Times. Yeah, That's Mr. Great. Reynolds, thank you so much yeah. for being here. Mrs. Bilheimer, thanks. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.